Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Competition is really heating up in the electric vehicle space, and I think not every one of these EV startups is going to survive or thrive long term. And one that I think investors should be very worried about is Lucid. The company went after a high price, high performance market just as interest rates started rising. People started pulling back on those high-end purchases like vehicles. And at the same time, competition is coming into the market. So I want to go over a few things that investors need to be thinking about and why I would be avoiding this stock right now. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And I want to go through uh, some recent news that came out about Lucid. It kind of ties all these things together. This is an article from Electric that ties together a bunch of data about production and sales for a lot of electric vehicle companies. And the one that popped out to me is the trends for Lucid. Now, the headline in this article talks about how Rivian is growing sales and registrations in the US as they ramp up production. Lucid should be in a very similar position, but two things are happening at the same time. One, Lucid's registrations in the US are falling. Over the first seven months of the year, the company averaged 541 registrations per month, but in July, registrations were just 348. At the same time, the company lowered prices. So sales are falling as prices are coming down. This tells us that there is a supply and demand problem. The reason the supply and demand problem is such a big deal is because Lucid is burning cash like crazy. You can see that over the past 12 months, the revenue growth has slowed. So about $750 million in revenue over the past 12 months. Free cash flow or negative free cash flow was $3.8 billion in the last 12 months. Let's go back to the snapshot, which gives us some information about the market cap, $13 billion market cap, $2.4 billion worth of debt. There is cash on the balance sheet, so there is money to fund some of these operations for at least the next year or so. But investors are paying a lot for a company that is likely going to need to raise new cash in at least the next 18 months. And operating trends are trending in the wrong direction. For those of you who have watched my EV coverage in the past, this is consistent with what I'm seeing in a lot of other places in electric vehicles is that problems start to emerge when we start to see prices come down and other factors like sales or registrations or inventory move in the wrong direction. If companies can't continue to increase their production to try to get to cash flow positive, and they're having to do things like lower their prices to move vehicles through the system and actually keep their plants running at full steam, that's a real problem. This is the reason that investing in automakers and manufacturers is so difficult because there's so much fixed cost that goes into these automobile manufacturing plants that you have to keep them running as much as you possibly can and yet keep prices at a reasonable level where you can make enough margin to be profitable. It's a really difficult balancing act. And I'm seeing a lot of red flags with Rivian, with the price reductions, with the likelihood that sales are going to be pretty weak in the second half of the year. And I haven't even talked much about all the competition that's coming into the market and the competition that's coming in at better price points and lower price points than Lucid from companies that have much bigger and much better infrastructure, both from a sales and service standpoint. So a lot of challenges that, that Lucid has to overcome. And I don't think this is one of the companies that's probably going to emerge one of the winners. But what do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.